Finding Life. My name is Jeff and we're here to help you find life, enjoy life, and win in life. We are in episode number 40 and I've got a, a number of episodes that I've got um, designed and, and ready for you and so uh, an exciting topic. We want to talk about episode 40. This is Money Answers Everything. Does Money Answer Everything? everything part one so ecclesiastes chapter 10 uh, and verse 19 says a feast is made for laughing and wine makes merry but money answers everything money answers everything now notice what it doesn't say scripture does not say notice it doesn't say that money is the answer to everything what does it say? It says that money answers everything. Now, money is not the answer of everything. The devil would like to make us think and believe that money is the answer to everything, but, but it's not. So, what's the answer? Who is the answer? Jesus is the answer. And God has given us his word and the Holy Spirit to help us know everything we need to know. So let's just uh, take a little bit of a rabbit trail in that direction and we'll pick up here, <coughs> excuse me, next time. But uh, John chapter 14. John chapter 14. Jesus is the answer and God has given us his word and the Holy Spirit to help us know everything we need to know. Jesus is the answer to everything. John chapter 14, verse 26 says this, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. He will teach us all things. He'll teach us everything we need to know to do and accomplish and to fulfill his will and his plan and our assignment on our lives. Uh, chapter 16, chapter 16, verse 13. Chapter 16, verse 13 says this, However, when he, the Holy, this, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will show you things to come. He will reveal to you things to come. This is what the Holy Spirit's been sent for, is to show us things to come, so that we're not caught off guard. But we are prepared. He shows us things to come. He teaches us all things. 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2 verse 20 says this. But you have an anointing from the Holy One. Who is that anointing? That anointing is the Holy Spirit. The anointing is the Holy Spirit. We have an anointing from the Holy One, from God. And He's the Holy Spirit, and you know all things. Everything we need to know, He shows, reveals, and teaches us. Chapter, or verse 27. But the anointing which you have received from Him abides in you. He is the Holy Spirit. He abides in you. And you do not need anyone to teach you. But as the same anointing, the Holy Spirit, he teaches you concerning all things, say all things, all things, concerning all things, um, and is true and is not a lie. And just as he has taught you, you will abide in him. So he says, we don't have to, we don't have to look to people to teach us. Now he will use the Holy Spirit will use people. But as we're listening and as he's using and, 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 and as people are speaking, we have this unction, we have this anointing, we have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us that something, if, if, if something is, is wrong, is it, we just go, you know, that just doesn't sound right. That just doesn't make sense. That doesn't line up with the Word of God. The Holy Spirit is helping us 
learn and understand and to take hold of things. We can hear someone be teaching and it's aligning up with the Word of God and we may not even understand it, but there is just this peace and there's this excitement and there's this, it's feeding us on the inside of us. So, so the Holy Spirit, He's our teacher and He's our guide and He bears witness with us. So He can teach us through His Word. He teaches us through other people, but it's the Holy Spirit that's using these many different facets to teach us and to show us and to reveal things to us. Glory to God. So, Colossians 2. Colossians 2. 1 John 5.12 says, Jesus is, the li- is our answer. He that has a son has life. And let's just finish with this quickly. Colossians chapter 2 says this, verse, verse 3, talking about in Christ. It says, in him are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In him are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Verse 6, so therefore, you, uh, um, therefore, as you therefore have received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. So here's what we have. All the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hid in him. Therefore, therefore, learn to walk in him so we can access all that we need. So next time we will continue with this, money answers all things. God bless, and we'll see you next time.